to, he can just uh, skewer away Razor. What? <laughs> I'm in his mind. <laughs> you guys know. Right. This right. is it right here. Well okay. played. I mean, I love the fact that Kyle painted it as sort of the OG style. So we're going to have a five-man movement into OG, starting off with the Fisher Seb. He's going to have to go for a skewer play if he wants out of here, but he's just not going to get the chance to do so. Some chain stuns go down. They give the first blood. That's going to go to mind control. He should be able to get three bounties out of this, though, if uh, No Tail can stick around long enough, which he should be able to. Yes, Weha is still quite low, and they have the Boundless in five. He has Jingu stack. He still has one Jingu stack. Oh, just outside it. of range of the Aftershock stun there. Rolling on through, Seb. Second opportunity. Uh-oh, the chain stun tops in. Got him. He's going to die for this relentless aggression between him and Seb. Now they get the level six on GH. The Echo Slam goes down. Seb falls as well. Two cores dying on the side of OG. And a third one in route to the battle. He's going to go for this kill on a Weehaw, but he's going to get kited around a little bit too much. Dragon tailed up. They're running out of mana, though. GH doesn't have the mana to support any further disables on mid one. So the Ursa will get out. But he didn't get the chance to uh, have a rebuttal there. 8-1 to one now to the favor of Nigma with a 2,000 net worth. And do so aggressively without getting picked off. Now Thompson's going to try. Oh, he might They're be able to catch him down here. here. GH. It's in the Dragon Tail stun. The rest of OG is coming in hot, though. Soxa is going to look to be able to save Thompson, Back but the up. Echo is enough to be able to bring down Thompson. There goes a bunch of their damage. Now with Mind Control throwing out the poison, this is going to be a lost fight for OG as they don't even get the chance. Which has recall around the map, which says everything. Yeah, certainly. Oh, no they tail. start off with a stun onto No Tail, and there's such long range stuns. Now, Miracle got a little bit low there, but fortunately, the Hex stops. Oh, what about the strike? On to three with the Wukongs already out. Kuro's certainly there's dead, and they're going to pull him back in. Seb on the other side. The trap is laid, and OG slam it shut onto Nigma, catching multiple cores, and it looks like they're not going to let Mind Control get away either. A TP out, and he stuns. Oh, they didn't have anything. Well, at least he's able to get away. Nigma, Blink Dagger, and Dragon form, buffing Looking him bottom. as well. They're immediately bottom lane. They just finished up the Roshan. The Aegis was just dropped on the ground and this fight is already... Oh, Kuro! He catches hits the impel right as Seb came in for that RP. Now he's just going to have to content himself for maybe a kill on a GH. Mid one's going to get kited around and Seb hold that RP for another fight, my friend. You tried, but that timing, it was just too unlucky for Seb. Kuro hitting him with the impel right as he blinked in. They've been under the cover of wards some of some of these times, but OG just are getting outplayed and just getting outmoved anyway, There's even if they see this coming. Two heroes at the top it's lane, up. so OG, they're going to strike. A nice two-man boundless strike with the Wukongs out as well. Weeha is going to look to be able to dance away with that as uh, all that movement speed. He's got to have a haste, and he does. He managed to get away, and they take away the Aegis from Miracle, but OG, they don't look in great shape, and Thompson at the end of his BKB gets tagged, not able to jump into the trees. Going to be chain stunned up here as there's going to be a Fissure and an Aftershock stun to chain it together. OG, they take away a life of Nigma, but a life for a life, and that... Monkey King is going to be dead for a full minute. They can fight during their BKBs, but the moment it ends, the jumps. And now Seb, he shows his face. And he's not going to be able to make it out. Kuro even had the extra damage still in the tank there from the finger, but it wasn't necessary. So quick with the jumps. Again, both these, these triple stunners just immediately finding the targets. And now to the high ground. AC finished up just before the fights, too, for Miracle. Four man spoke Miracle, up. another arcane rune for him. He'll get the jump. They're going to lead on a mid one. They were kind of baiting him out, but maybe this bait is a little bit too tasty. Nice two-man RP. The Wukong's man is out, but the BKB was already activated by Weeha, so he wasn't chained on a miracle. He actually man fights they mid one him. and gets the kill before he dies. Now it's going to be Thompson inside of his own Wukong's man with no way out. The magic damage is too much for him to handle. He has nine deaths on the Monkey King. They kind of baited him into these positions where he felt like he could do something on Weeha, and then he'd get turned on. And now speaking of Weeha... Yeah. Yules on to Seb, stopping the skewer and ensuring that uh, should be able to fight this still with the BKB coming out. He walks away from the coil pretty easily. His mind control should be able to finish off Seb thanks to the Spirit Vessel. He even throws the E-Blade before Thompson can actually get away. BKB pop, turns around, but honestly, the damage just looks sad as Miracle Man fights him inside the Wukong's command, not giving a damn apparently about all these statues. A finger of death will make the difference here as it's Thompson to go down first. All right, says Thompson, and I'm beginning to think that's what OG They're is saying. It for this game, it's time. Nigma will take game one of this series. Super clean, love to see this. I haven't seen Nigma play actually this clean in, in quite some time. This was 
It was just, yeah, it was just very nice to watch. You're not seeing many people getting caught out of position at all. Mm. It makes a Darkseer pick maybe a little bit better as well with the uh, wall. He can make copies of the anti-mage. That's great. Anti-mage is like forever the counter to Darkseer in lane because you take in lane. away. Definitely a potential for Topson. I have to say, it feels like Weeha is not going to be able to make that, that soul ring. Uh, he's not going to make use of it a whole lot. Uh, bottom lane, they're going to be able to chase down GH. This should be our first blood. That'll go to no tail. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a bit surprising for them to actually find that kill. The Malphys might have must have stopped the Icarus dive or something. Yeah, that's what I believe happened. Is it something about the, the draft? You're saying, like, they have to take these early towers? Uh, why is that? Yeah. Th they have to be able to hunt this anti-mage. They have to be able to get these deep wards down to be able to watch him out. Because there's just... It's a limited game where they can actually gank and punish him. Nice nice miracle, he actually blinks in. It. Miracle, he's gonna try and play around with the centaur. The centaur stun is really gonna help him out here, but it's not quite enough. His blink was just coming up, but the orb comes out first from Thompson. And now Weeha, he's actually gonna go ahead and pop his soul ring here to try and fight this. So it does bring him a little bit low. He gets the kill on Soxa, but it's OG who are walking away with the better of these engagements. A triple kill for Thompson. This uh, very early boots of travel is a little unique for mid one here. And as a result, he's <laughs> kind of breaking the meta and breaking Weeha. the stats as well as now Weeha is going to be dying as the Dragon Eye is. Unless they can save him, the Sun Rays in on him though. GH is trying to burn out Soxa right now. The Mind Control, he laid out the Echo Slam, but they don't have nearly enough damage. They go for the egg. They're going to turn around and hit it. Kuro's going to come in. They're committing their life to be able to kill Soxa and they will manage to get it. Soxa dies, traded out for GH, but at the same time, Miracle, he's being threatened in the back lines by Thompson. Seb's going to run forward and just keep pace with Kuro. Even though he's got the Exorcism out, this is a level 7 Death Prophet. Doesn't really scare anybody too much. The Vacuum misses, and Kuro will manage to get out alive, but it's still every single team fight. Nigma is looking worse for wear. This Earthshaker, my control is getting no space to farm. He's nowhere even close to the realms of a Blink Tag. They're going to catch him. They spot him. Malphus, hook shot, and a black hole oh, baby. for the cherry on top. No Tail is dominating. 10,000 net worth lead and Fogs. I'm not sure how much longer Nygma want to keep this game going. I mean, as badly as they dumpstered OG in game one, it's even worse for Nygma this time around, but maybe an opportunity. Oh no, the Echo Slam, it didn't actually They're hit Thompson. Now he's going to be pulled back into the wall. Oh, this is a disaster for Nygma as Kuro is actually healing up a lot until the Omni Slash both cuts him down as well as Weeha. And you know, Mind Control, he's not going to be let out, that, out of this so easily either. Another nasty the engagement as OG win and win and win. But uh, Miracle's got bigger oh. fish to fry. He's trying to find farm anywhere he can on the map, uh -oh. but he's being chased everywhere he goes. He's going to go for a TP out. They spot him. Vacuum. Malefice is there from No Tail. And, and the black hole with the wall just to make sure. And they do indeed have him dead to rights. This is a, a slaughter fucked. It really is, and I, I do need to give credit to because I haven't said it. Notel is doing so well on this Enigma. The 414 skill build, he started out with 411, just the one point in the idol lines. Mm -hmm. It's actually had such a big impact this game. His black holes have been on point too. They're just, <laughs> yeah, they're really just running away with the game. Oh, Weeha! They actually do manage to get there. Oh, but the orb oh. rolled him over before he could finish up with a Fisher. Still, though, if they kill mid one, it's it well say. worth it. Mid one has been given all this space, but for what? Maybe for a good fight. A vacuum over to the side. An egg is on out, but yeah, Nigma have already lost all their heroes, so it's GH left alone. That's going to be scrambled eggs for breakfast for OG. And uh, paired up with a nice tier three tower with this Maelstrom. Yeah, jeez. A DD is just an excuse. Jump. A two-man hook shot from Soxa. It's not going to get much better than this. An opportunity for a black hole. They vacuum him inside of the cogs to make that three inside that little window with GH. Going to be the last to fall with the egg down. He's going to buy back, but what good of use is that? Car oh comes my in God. and dies instantly. That wasn't an Omni Slash. That was a Swiss Strike. He still got that extra firepower ready to go on mid one. Thanks to the DD, he is just last ditch effort here for Nigma in this game too. Otherwise, we're here going to Kuroki. a third and deciding game as Kuro's going to lead the way with the Exorcism blinking in inside the cogs with the Midnight Pulse already out. A big new coming out from Thompson. Miracle tries to show himself, but he immediately gets pulled into the black hole. Another pull in for the vacuum and mind control. He'll die as well. GH is the topper and that's it. A five for nothing, team wipe with an Aegis still intact. That says everything you need to know. This was an incredibly dominant game by OG. The lobby. Wow.
Uh, no, I'm not. Darn it. I want to know who's playing what on the side of OG. Based on the support, you can pressure the Riki still a lot in lane as Weeha may actually die here with all this aggression that he was going for. Thompson, he's going to go Is for he easy creep to nine, but it's not going to be enough. Thompson oh my God. claims the first blood, and Weeha is already suffering. God, if he just died to mid one right now. Oh no, the tree stuck to the tricks of the trade. Okay, he gets a sentry down. Okay, they, they roll into the wards here. The wards are uh, not going to time out that soon, but they do manage to kill both the supports here. My control's going to come in, make sure Soxa is finished. The spear actually not killing Soxa. Nailed no tail in the back. Now they're diving. Still, yeah, there's going to be Seb coming in for this play as well. They've already killed Miracle, and my control, he'll be cleaned up as well pretty easily as there it is. Seb with the Wrath of Nature, or no, actually the Orchid Tick. I don't think they care if they die. They're getting too much on the map. Enigma's not able to withstand all this pressure. Oof. Curl, trying to protect. Do they do manage to get the uh, combo here onto oh Sasa? God, they're almost still, dead. He's just getting ripped apart by mid. What he does so much damage with the Wrath of Nature on top. They think the moment they've got a, a small window, but maybe get a kill. Turns out that mid one and those Wrath of Nature from Seb do way too much damage. They demolish Nygma. Man, this has just Girl. been a uh, blistering pace sent by OG in the last two games. Now they're going to run into him with an Orchid and Miracle trying to cut down the tree. Cuts the wrong one, stuck inside, and just dead again. Mind control, desperate for something, is going to land a spear here. They've got the disables to kill Thompson, surely. And Soxa does try and interrupt things. It looks like Thompson gotten a little bit too big for his britches or maybe just started a fight that was overall good as GH still going to die to Seb. Seb gets off the Wrath of Nature. Big boost of damage is going to be coming in, but Seb does die to the spear to the wall. Pinned up and killed. No Tail doesn't have the black hole. They're going to get in front of Soxa here. Uh-oh. Here comes mid one, and I believe he's got a fresh battle fury. And the damage Kuro hit. stuck. The whole time, he's stuck in the Serpent Wards again, Cap. He couldn't help the entire time. He's just stuck. I actually could not believe it. I'm like, where the hell is the clock? And he's just, he's stuck in the Serpent Wards. He can't help he out. Perhaps they could get another kill. Do but they have the power to take this by themselves. York, it's going to go out. That's another resource that's going to be used. My control's got to be careful. Oh, the cogs. It pushes Thompson. He gets nailed by the spear. Can they actually kill him? A wall goes out. They, they throw everything control. they have. Thompson's dead. Now the stone gaze. It's caught socks. That's an attempt to roll away. Denied by the battery. So, and Seb too. Now he's trying to go on the run. A buyback from Soxa. A re-engagement. OG. They plan to be able to still take this fight as mid one's demolishing these supports. But Sox another Cogs in. pushes him away. Weehaw's in trouble with a buyback from Soxa. With Seb on the high ground. Taking the triple kill. And Weehaw has no chance to be able to get away from this. Miracle is out of here. OG will retain control of the Roshan. Weehaw. They actually catch him. They are going to be able to catch Seb at the same time Weehan's being caught. The difference is Seb, he's got his VKB. He's got a way to be able to turn around a fight. You don't chain those stuns, and Seb will make you pay with every single hero that joined in this engagement. He'll make sure oh they God. all die. Oh, yeah, this, this is just, this is brutal. He has almost the same farm as every single hero put together, it feels like, on the side of Enigma. His top, they throw down the coil in the base as well OG. as Ico, so jump in. Spear onto Seb, see if they can keep the chainsaw to prevent the BKB from going off. He is indeed dead, but the back line's being demolished oh, right now. Look at this battle fury from the Riki go to work as they're all stuck in this AoE with a double damage to boot. The tankier two cores of the Medusa and Viper, they survived the initial burst, but there is relentless chase here from OG. You know Weeha's not going to survive. It's a momentary reprieve before inevitable death. It was actually placing these to maybe find when OG is maximizing and farming. They'll see Seb TP top. They might actually be able to get this pick up. He's a tanky one, though. Oh, boy. That's Kuro. He'll play with his life. And all right. Stay. Top, can they actually get a Serpent Wards and a Marzolt? Let's see. An all-in kill on to Seb. Seb. No, no, oh, no. That's a missed jackal. Oh, no. That's oh, a missed no. fear. <laughs> oh, It just does not get any worse for the boys. Oh, and they're dead. They're all dead. Fogged if there's any time to tap out. <laughs> uh, it's that, that moment the right there. <laughs> Hey, they they went for it, and you, you know even even pro players make mistakes at times. A little bit of a misclick there. As Weha, he shows himself in the wave, gonna get committed on immediately. Does have the BKB to protect him for at least a slight moment. Yep, the hook shot comes in to try and stop that black hole. The damage is done though, as the air spirit's able to finish him off mid one. 
jumping onto the Medusa, ignoring the stone gaze for the most part, and just hops over to GH instead, kills him. Kuro was able to deal with no tail, but the five position of OG is dead. The other four stand strong inside of Nigma's base, wiping them. And uh, that last little shred of hope they're hoping for here is some sort of throw into the fountains because <laughs> mid one, every single time he shows up, he appears. Nigma heroes disappear, and there it is, finally. GG. With uh, one final whimper. Nigma die inside their base. Give it up, Megas. A 42,000 net worth lead. 52 kills in 28 minutes, Fog.